This might just be the most beautiful classroom of any Australian tertiary institution. These University of Melbourne students are taking part in an intensive study program, now in its 10th year, called On Country Learning. It was the brainchild of Professor Wayne Atkinson from the University School of Social and Political Science. I think the intent of it was to, um, to tr- get students out of the academic sort of classroom environment, particularly in regards to Indigenous studies, and then to take them on country so that we could then you know, learn from the more tangible aspects of Indigenous studies, visiting places, sites, unfolding the enormous antiquity of Indigenous occupation, use and enjoyment of the ancestral lands. Each year about 40 students are brought on country, that is to the traditional lands of the Yorta Yorta people around the Murray River in northern Victoria. They're immersed in Indigenous culture and introduced to the legal, political and artistic endeavours of Australia's original inhabitants. One of the places the students visit is Rumbalara near Shepparton. It's somewhere Aboriginal people were forced to live in atrocious conditions in the mid-1900s, but is now the site of a thriving Aboriginal health and education centre. Rumbalara's Leon Saunders says there's no better way to learn about Aboriginal history and self-determination. The smell, the sights, they, they can't get that sitting in a classroom and out, out of a textbook. So come and feel it. And the subject has struck a chord. Over the past decade, it's received near-perfect scores on student feedback forms. Current participants are equally taken. Obviously, I've learnt a lot about um, Indigenous hardships and like being take, like, the stuff on the missions and being taken away. But I think this week really made it real. Like Not just a documentary or a reading and a reader at university, but actually, like you know, this is where they were and this is what happened. In high school and primary school, you don't really get a good depiction of an Indigenous people in the country. So it was really like enlightening to um, see this new side of Indigenous Australia that I've never really thought of looking into. And I've really been lucky that I've had the opportunity to do it. In rejecting a native title application in 1998, the High Court of Australia essentially ruled that the Yorta Yorta people no longer have any lasting cultural or spiritual connection with their traditional lands. As you can imagine, the Yorta Yorta people see things very differently, and those involved in this program see it as an invaluable way for the next generation to learn about, but more importantly, experience Aboriginal culture, history, and the ongoing connection with the land. That's the thing that, that probably non-Indigenous people struggle with, this, this spiritual connection that we have with, with the land. So you know, that's why it's so important to us. We're not trying to develop you know, a tension between academic forms of learning and community-based forms of learning. But what we're trying to do with this course is build a bridge between the two so you can balance up the academic learning with the community-based learning that takes place on country. 